Welcome back to This Week in Bevy. This week we see another Hanabi particle editor, this time 3D focused, and some more navigation mesh work in progress. Jarl is also about to enter its second playtest, while Mega Factory Tycoon has its Steam page up. And with that, we're into environment map filtering GPU pipeline. In the course of working on atmospherics, 19076 introduces a real-time GPU pipeline that dynamically generates complete environment maps from a single cube map texture on each frame. This is, of course, an addition to potentially doing the work ahead of time, which is already supported via various external tools. And making it happen at runtime opens the door for procedural generation and other sources that aren't available at build time. For those interested in rendering, the PR showcases a nice example of using compute shaders to calculate information, which in this case is MIPS. And although it's not a copy and paste example in the vein of the examples directory, it is an interesting read with some notable concepts presented. I think reading PRs or going over them at least a little bit, if you're interested in rendering, is a great way to start expanding your knowledge. And extensible schedule graphs, that is 2115, is a tracking issue for making the scheduling API reusable in more scenarios. 2256 continues this work by deferring error message rendering so as to enable building more general reusable functions for ad hoc graph manipulation. And of course, we've got Alice's merge train, which is a maintainer level view into active PRs and how the bevy sausage is made. And as you might be able to tell from the fairly short PRs merge this week, the 0.17 release candidate seems to be on the horizon. And first up in the showcases, we've got re-recast updates. Re-recast is an in-progress Rust port of recast navigation, which is an industry standard nav mesh generator used by Unreal, Unity, Godot, and others. The port can now generate polygon meshes and detail meshes identically to the C++ implementation. An in-progress editor, as you can see here, can also preview these detail meshes. And next up, we've got a custom animation system for this card game. You can now see where the cards are coming from, where they're going to, and overall, it's just a nice usability improvement. Next up, we've got Mega Factory Tycoon, which is a 2D factory automation and tycoon game. In Mega Factory Tycoon, you are the manager of a fully automated factory. The factory produces consumer products that can be sold for profit on the central market. The gameplay trailer and the ability to wishlist are available over on the Steam page. And for those that are light sensitive, the next page is going to be fairly bright. And that is unit formations for a grand strategy battle simulation game. There is going to be more work done in terms of moving these units around, so expect to see more about this in the future. And then we've got an interesting one in Omegari. Omegari is a Bevy Hanabi 3D particle editor. It was built for Hexroll 3 and open sourced upon request. And Starfell is a cute little game. This is build mode in Starfell, a game where you get to build your own community on a tiny planet. And next up, we've got an infrared search and track demo. This is IRST or infrared search and track display using custom shaders. More information about the changes to the DAW flight sim is available over on YouTube, which we have a link to on the website. And next up, we've got a number of people in the Bevy community who try to reconstruct old games inside of the Bevy engine. This demonstrates extracting resources from one of those older games to reconstruct its menu interface. And it's always nice to see people getting started. This is a Minesweeper implementation. And into something a little bit more complicated, this is the level editor for Spoils of War. This level editor takes advantage of Bevy E GUI to enable adding gameplay elements, units, decorations, and more. And next up, we're into isometric level design. This is a 3D isometric picking implementation combined with a pathfinding implementation. This can be a little bit trickier than you might think, so it's really cool to see. And in this multiplayer online role-playing game, player-to-player -player trading was added, which you can see in the available showcase video. In this case, the character is trading with Mike, the NPC or what I think is an NPC anyway. And then we've got procedural Voronoi spheres. This is a procedural Voronoi sphere implementation that can go up to 500,000 cells. And later in the thread, you can see the beginnings of some terrain generation on top of that Voronoi cell generation. And here we've got a new RPG without a name that was started on a whim. The tiles here are loaded from PNG and RON files and then loaded into a tile viewer where they can be picked and placed. And the security units in Forgotten Worlds now chase you even faster than before and will follow you outside as you run away. Here we've got some network topology visualization. This is a render of the topology of a machine learning deep network. I believe this is actually a render of something that solves the MNIST dataset, but I am not entirely sure. And then we've got a sneak peek at the upcoming second playtest for Jarl, which is a fantasy colony simulator. Jarl is especially interesting because I think it's a great showcase of how far you can push Bevy UI even as far back as Bevy 0.12. And then we've got something a little less visual. This is the UI for adding vehicles to this transportation management game. The dashed lines here are actually retained gizmos. 
And finally, we've got an update to Dark Wisps Defense. Dark Wisps Defense is a tower game on an open grid. It is open source and has been updated to use modern Bevy features like triggers, picking, and more. And with that, we are into the great releases for the week. This is Bevy Save 0.19. Bevy Save enables you to easily save and load your entire application state or just parts of it, including resources. With the new flows, Bevy Save now supports both reflection-based and non-reflection-based snapshots. Bevy Rich Text 3D V0.4 is underlines, strikethroughs, and simple text shadows for Bevy. And seeing more development, as always, Bevy Enhanced Input 0.15 is out. Bevy Enhanced Input is an input manager for Bevy inspired by Unreal Engine's Enhanced Input. This update features a big rewrite into a component-based API. The core concepts remain the same, but are now expressed through the ECS. It's recommended to revisit the Quick Start Guide, and if you've been waiting to give this crate a try, now is a great time. Bevy Fog of War 0.3 is out with a pretty aptly named Fog of War implementation, now with persistence in 0.3. Bevy Pretty Text is a 2D text effects library. It includes a lightweight parser for constructing text hierarchies on the fly with special sequencing commands, text effects, and styles, as you can see here. And that is it for this week. As always, we have all the pull requests that were opened on the website. If you want to get involved and do some review, it is always appreciated. There are rumors of a 0.17 release candidate coming sometime soon, so be on the lookout for that. We will talk about it when it happens. And until then, I'll see you next week.